YouTube Dollar Store Art. Um, my name is James, and today we're going to go over another Crayola technique uh, using an idea I actually saw on Sophia Styles' page, which I'm going to link a, a link to her in the description. Um, what she did was she melted some crayons into coconut oil and used them as lip gloss. Um, and I was wondering if we could actually turn that back into an art supply. So let's see what we can do with this. I'll go over the uh, the method that she shows as well as a link to that particular video. And uh, we'll see if we can make this work. Um, later on in the video I will show how it looks on paper as well as canvas. And um, what you'll need. You'll need some coconut oil. Now I know this doesn't normally, this doesn't really follow our dollar art supply. However, uh, it's about $15 if you go to Sam's Club for this massive, uh, what is this, 54 ounce container of coconut oil. So, we're gonna need some coconut oil, we're going to need some crayons, huge bag from the thrift store for a uh, dollar, and uh, a measuring spoon, uh, something to stir with that you don't care about. This fork was, I think, 29 cents at the thrift store. and. Uh, a small pot as well as something glass to pour it in because we don't want this to go directly into the water we also don't want to just do it straight in the pot otherwise it will burn the coconut oil and the crayon um, but we do it inside of here it heats up just slow enough that it will melt the two things first I went problems. ahead and filled this up with some water I don't know if you can see it there there we are all right and this does not have water in it the glass container which is just a simple measuring cup does not have any water in it. And that's just set down right inside that pot. Um, she actually uses the water only filled up about a half an inch and uh, a uh, ramkin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and turn this to a medium low, just a little bit upside of that because my burners are lousy. Uh, this entire oven really could stand to be replaced. Um, and then we are going to take a half teaspoon measuring stick and we are going to portion out three of these. Come on, little guy. There we go. Three of these per crayon. That's basically two right there, so we're just gonna go ahead and call that guy good. If we can get the other one out. Come on. Fun stuff to work with. And that's for one crayon. So. I'm going to start off with orange, just a very basic, simple orange, and we're just going to let that melt. Now coconut oil actually gets to liquid form at around 75 degrees, so this process goes pretty quick. What we're trying to avoid is actually burning the crayon, because coconut oil will heat up, it doesn't care what temperature it is, it's uh, wonderful stuff. Um, little side note, if you don't really cook with coconut oil outside of art supplies, um, it actually can help with a f lot of uh, brain issues, it's things like Alzheimer's. Um, I used to have a border collie, and uh, she got Alzheimer's real bad. And uh, every day we would feed her an egg with coconut oil after this started, and it completely cured her Alzheimer's up two more crayons and added the same three half teaspoons of coconut oil to the mixture. Now you can do this with a quarter teaspoon, it just gives you a more of an opaque finish. And we're still waiting on this to melt, so I assume once the water actually gets up to a proper temperature we'll see some movement going on in here. Not quite there yet, but it is starting to get cloudy, so we're just going to go ahead and let that continue to melt down. And once it's fully melted, we'll mix it up a little bit, and then we're going to pour it. So this second. has melted all the way down. We've gone ahead and stirred it up a little bit to make sure that those colors match. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy by the handle. Be careful, because this stuff is hot. This is uh, completely liquid at this point. Now, I got these little uh, plastic guys at the uh, dollar store. There was 12 of them in the package for a buck, so let's hope these hold some heat. three crayons worth. 
And the rest of this, we're just going to go ahead and try to get every last bit of that out there. We don't want to waste our supplies. Okay. So we're just going to set that off to the side. And toss that back in there for the moment. All right, that looks to be holding that just fine. Not melting or whatnot. We're just going to cap that, and we're going to start on another color. A little liquidy, but that's okay. It should set up just a tad bit once this. Uh, okay, this so this is a random page out of a book I didn't really care for too much. So um, what I did was I went ahead and drew this little random sketch on here. Some uh, some dude coming out of the shadows with a a knife and a dead poet in front of him, poet and a murderer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our red here. And we're just gonna add a lit little bit of red and uh, so well <laughs> while you were away I made some red and some purple and I've actually got blue on the oven right now so the purple hasn't quite set up yet that's okay this is going to be a lot more liquidy than the others so we're just going to kind of go in the background of the murderer here probably should take this down first so I could hold the camera and do this weird painting through a, a camera screen. So yes, I am actually painting with crayon right now. And it gives almost a weird oil watercolor te uh, feel to it. So, a little bit more. I'm going to just kind of coat that on there. Now, be careful with that initial dab of paint because it kind of clumps the moment it touches the paper. Which is fine if that's the technique you're looking for, but. We're just going to stay simple with this, you know, we aren't going too in-depth here, because, I mean, you don't need to watch a how-to shade episode now, do you? So, okay, so then, now this stuff is almost like painting with a weird wax, which is fine, you know, you just want to kind of grab a little bit off the surface, you know, ditch the excess, a little bit off the surface. And you can almost just paint with this with like, um, you can almost use this as a, as a finger paint. <laughs> well, so much for a bloody knife, it kind of looks almost like a, a bad, uh, uh, what are they called? Giallo film, Italian giallo film, which were the murder mysteries of the 80s out of Italy. Just gonna kinda kind of toss that in like that. And then we're gonna give the poet a nice blood streak. Alright, now we're gonna move on to some other colors. I'm not gonna bother finishing this right now. Um, but that's that's what this winds up looking like, and it is still workable after it's on the page. It's like a watercolor that's still workable. It, it's really a kind of a neat, uh, neat thing to work with. So once you're finished with this, you will want to spray mat it, and um, then you'll be done. Um, if you get it a little too liquidy, that's fine. Just s let it harden. Uh, you can always put it in the fridge if you'd like that will harden it up real quick um, because the coconut oil is what it gives it, it, gives it its liquidity. 
Coconut oil is what makes it liquid. So <laughs> I'm not even going to try to repronounce that. I'm not even going to bother cutting it from the video. Uh, you guys know what I mean. So let's see here. Works great on paper. I have not tried it on canvas. So we're just going to take a little sample here. I've got a random canvas sitting right here that I'm not using for anything at the moment. And wow, look at that. That actually, uh, that actually paints on real nicely on canvas. So by all means, try it on both. Um, this is, uh, thank you for Sophia Styles for this idea and for her amazing video on showing how to make this stuff. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, hope this helped you out. If you like, uh, like it. If you uh, favorite it, favorite it, whatnot. I can't speak tonight. It's like two in the morning. So anyway, working on canvas with this and it does blend just like normal colors would. Um, I'm putting blue and you know, kind of a burgundy together and it's blending across nicely and it stays workable. And uh, this is still relatively wet and lucid. Sorry. Paying more attention to actually putting stuff on a canvas than filming putting stuff on a canvas, which is never a good sign. Well, not when it comes to YouTube, that is. It's a great sign for the art itself. Alrighty, so there you have it. This works great on campus. And uh, you can, you know, use your multiple colors to, to continue to blend. And it stays workable until you spray fix it. So, as long as you want to keep working it, you can. Um, the white, uh, I would use half the amount of coconut oil on, uh, so you get a little bit thicker product. And aside from that, uh, good luck and keep doing art. If you liked it, like. If you, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate the subscriptions too. Have a great day. There's more to come.